Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here next to the last, it's a long time since I've been there, but next to the last for this seminar. And as I'm sure the other lecturers and seminarers would have told you, the theme is what do we expect from our partners? And my, or my given dance today, is that beautiful dance, the waltz. And if I was to give you a very short version of what I feel I want from Karen, or any woman that I'm dancing with, is a thinking body. Do you understand what I mean by that? A thinking body. So, I think in this day and age, in the scene at the moment, um, the ladies are very active when they dance, which I think is marvellous. They should not be like a piece of material waiting to move. They have to move with the man. And I think the lady to be active is wonderful. We never really particularly want the lady to activate. But I think to be an active part of a partnership is really good. So a thinking body. Wherever my body goes, hopefully my partner's body will be in harmony together with my body movements. And of course that also continues into shape. If I create shapes, the lady follows, hopefully, that lead. We have a little expression when we dance that um, I give the girl my heart, never my wallet. Dodgy business. But we give the lady our heart. And that's just really through style and shape, through rotation, that we actually turn our bodies to the woman. And the woman will react to that rotation by hopefully creating a three-dimensional picture. Now, would you like to see Karen on the floor with me? Yeah. Come on, Karen. That's it. Did you realize something? Well, when I came on the floor, I had a standing ovation. He wouldn't stop clapping. <laughs> Never mind. So, you see, she's now thinking. <laughs> ah, there you go. Thank you. Eventually. All right, all right, all right. 38 minutes counting. Um, now, now, I've chosen some figures to work with you because today this is a seminar, isn't it? And the way I understand seminar is that you're going to try some of the ideas that we're going to show you. Um, before we do that, though, because we may be restricted with a little bit of space, I'd like to just very briefly give you an insight of what I require from Karen as being my thinking body. Well, my partner's thinking body. The first thing is we have to have a glamorous, big, spectacular shape. But not fully extended because we need to breathe and move throughout the dance. So if I take up a hole with Karen and I'm at my maximum as soon as we touch, I'm saying to Karen, don't touch me. She's going to move away from me. We don't want that. I want to breathe through Karen's body and through my body into a wonderful three-dimensional picture. Wonderful three-dimensional picture. When we danced and competed, Karen wore lovely high heels, or two and a half inch heels, whatever that is in centimeters. But now she's in a teaching shoe. But you know, I love it. I saw it. I love it because I can dominate Karen. I can dominate her. It's the only chance I've got. <laughs> I want to feel as though with my body weight, because we have a perfect high relationship, I want to dominate Karen in putting my body weight up and over Karen. If I had a cold, my nose would drip on Karen's shoulder, not my tie. You understand what I'm saying? Not that I've got a big nose, but my weight is over Karen's body, not over my own body. Mind you, the floor just slopes slightly this way, doesn't it? So we'll do it that way, it'll help. You can see that as soon as we take our connection, Karen is requiring my body also, of course, to be dominant to her. But Karen is dancing up and under my rib cage. She's dancing up to me, not at me. She's not at me, she's dancing up to me. 
I require from Karen a cheese-like feeling in her arms. I want to feel the weight of Karen's arms. But of course, when she places her arms and hands on my body, or on my arms, they're not heavy. They're weighted. Imagine Parmigiano or cheese melting under the grill. Those arms are melting onto me. I think one important feeling that Karen needs always from me is a, a, a prominent, positive right front. Whatever I do, it's like if you go shopping and you have a trolley. I never go shopping, but I believe this is what happens. You push a trolley round and you wheel it round the aisles like this. And you follow that trolley. Now, I have to admit, boys, that in my career, I did follow Karen very often. I did. But I put her in the correct direction. So I could follow her. I'm going to walk with a trolley. I'm not doing this when I'm pushing the shopping around. I've got it in front of me and I'm following it. I push it one way, follow it. I might put a beer in there and then Karen will take it out again. <laughs> She'll put some makeup in there and I'll put it on. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was when I was a Latin dancer. <laughs> but basically, I'm... <laughs> basically, God, what am I saying? I'm in a pink shirt as well. What's going on here? Um, but I'm, this is my feminine side, yes, yes, yes. But Karen requires me to give her connection points which she can develop her wonderful body into my arms and out into space. Come here, woman with the makeup and the breath, and the uh, body. Anyway. There is no camera over there, is there? Okay. Now, if I wanted to dance Karen into something, let's say, like a double reverse spin, an oh overspin. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. I've got my glasses on as well. Oh, oh look at that. Wee, we're going to go again. Oh, we do go that way. That way. And then we do something like, oh, wee. And the check, wow, wow. Look at that. Wow. Oh, look at that. Wee. Oh. <laughs> We'll do it that way. <laughs> I want to express to you, my darling, that the last bit I did mean to fall over. But if I do it that way, I might, I might stand up. Anyway, we're dancing into a double reverse spin and an over spin. But before I do that, I want Karen to feel my body angle. I'm not turning her. I have a direction of my body different to the direction that I'm moving. I have rotation. I have a dynamic shape and I have space awareness. I dance my body into space. Karen follows that line, we turn. We do another one, we turn, and we drop a ronde. We check. It's hard talking and dancing at the same time. We ronde, here we go. Help. It was easy that way, wasn't it? <clears throat> I think through that movement, which is totally rotary, I feel I want Karen not to turn with me. It's very difficult if you imagine a piece of wood and we're rotating on that same piece of wood. It's hard, you imagine it. The girl's dancing backwards, double reverse spin, over spin, double reverse, on one or two pieces of this lovely floor, which slopes. How am I going to dance on that same piece of floor. Difficult, isn't it? Don't man, Monica, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> is he up again, is he? Stand there and look good. Not too good. Just stand there. <laughs> In a wonderful shape. A wonderful ball. Oh, I'll just put you right first. Oh, yes. Is it good for you? Yeah. Good. Yeah. This may work, or I may end up falling into the river, so good luck. Say good luck, Marcus. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. I hope I miss your nose. Ooh, look at that. Thank you.
I just need a drink of whiskey after that, so just excuse me for a second. Okay, so that's fine. Have you any idea why I did that? No. I just love Monica. <laughs> I want to show, wanted to show you that in able to, to enable myself to dance in that direction, I couldn't dance straight in the same direction as Karen was doing earlier. I have to throw my weight in an opposite direction to that of Karen to come back, creating a type of semicircular movement. If I was to be on the same floorboard as Karen, I'm going to end up having my back totally straight because I'm bracing myself trying to get round. This way, through shape, I can have a lovely curve through my body action. Oh, I tell you, that was strong, that whiskey. I don't need to dance straight to create the shape. So boys, I think we need about five or six boys, don't we? And the girls, come on. Come on to the floor. Not too many. And the girls, and the girls. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, boys and girls. We better keep this way for the camera. So what we need is the girl to be facing that top table. Come on, girls. In a line. In two lines. Come on. OK. Now, can you do a double reverse spin over spin, girls, by yourself? Put, oh, put them in a great shape, boys. Go on, put them in a great shape. Great shape. OK, stay there, girls. Walk away, boys. Come back. Stay in your shape, girls. Can you do your double reverse spin over spin? Go. And one, and two, and three, and one. Fantastic. Look at that. And. Oh, what's going on there? <laughs> Thank you very much. Come back. No, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. All right, boys. No, relax. Do that. Do this. Do this. Do that. Come on. Go on, do it. That's it. Do that. Do that this time and put your foot to the side. And then we're going to stretch, we're going to stretch, we're going to stretch, we're going to stretch. Is that your leg? <laughs> now, put your arms straight, so parallel to the floor, into a shape. And dance into the same foot. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> now, that position you're in there, with slightly more turns to the wall, is the shape that I want you to hit throughout the double reverse spin over spin. And all I can say is, good luck. And I hope you're all Roma supporters. You ready? So good. Just do that one more time. Go on. And mm. And ooh. And wave. And if they wave back to you, they're more crazy than you are. OK, right, here we go. Face down into wall, left foot forward. You're going to do a double reverse spin, over spin, and then stop. Ready? Go. Ah, oh, the girls are much better than the boys, weren't they? Right, girls, stay there. Do it one more time, girls. Boys, give them the position. OK, come back, boys. Leave them where they are. OK, ladies, after three, four, go. One, two, and three, and a one. Good. Ooh, that was for Japan. OK, come back, boys. You're going to do it again. Relax, stay there, stay there. You knew that was going. <laughs> Go on. Do that without moving your lips, Delman. Okay, that's what you're trying to hit. Start again. Back. Ready? I'll go in front of you this time. Ready? And one, two, three, and stop. You've got to still be facing here because you're going to go into a double reverse spin at the end of it. Can you try that with your partners this time? So, boys, still keep your right front to right front, but let's feel that you're going to rotate around the girl, not at the girl. Girls, look beautiful. Nice connection. I'll count one, two, three, and then it's good luck to you, and it's good bye for me. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, and three, and a one, two. Yeah, sorry about the two. That was next. Well done. Deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Being as you're on the floor, we're going to do a beautiful double reverse spin from there. Do we all know what that is? Yes, thank you. We're doing the double reverse spin where you close your feet, sorry, you open your feet sideways and close your left foot to your right foot like that. Not like that. Not like that. Just like that. 
and you turn. And it actually looks as though I'm rondaing, doesn't it? Now we all know the Italians, we've got one, two, three, three, four, four Italians, they love to ronde, don't they? A ronde a little bit there. The ronde that you create through here is not a ronde, it's a side closing action, which is a double reverse spin. But the impression is a ronde. When you're doing this, you're picking up the front of your body and you're making the girls go, ooh. <laughs> you saw me doing YMCA last night, that's why that is. So you've got to imagine that YMC. I'll explain to you all in Japan later. Anyway, we're doing this. One, two, and three, and a one, two, three. CA? Yeah, you've done that anyway, haven't you? You've done a double reverse spin, over spin, double reverse spin. Then we're going to go into a bombshell. Karen, my darling, have you seized up yet? Come on. Quick. We've now got, as the ballroom clock, 25 minutes. Now, I want to, you've got two ways of dancing a bombshell, girls. You can either cross your feet from the double reverse spin without weight and ronde, or you can change weight. I think Karen will tell you she prefers to do it without weight. I hope. Show us, my darling, double reverse spin. You are joking. Bombshell. No, no, I'm what? I'm what? No, I'm not. I'm not. Make it look good, though. Should I, hold on. Whoa. whoa. I'm gonna, come in. I'm making you feel gorgeous. You're my partner. For how many years? There you go. Go on, my darling. One, two, three, one. Oh, I didn't want you to do that. Oh. <laughs> Girls, can you do that by yourself? I mean, it is very difficult. And we need a partner. So don't do it by yourself, do it with a partner. Boys, you dance your double reverse spin. One, two, three, ronde. This is called a bombshell. Do you want to explain why it's called a bombshell? Well done. Bombshell. Boom. The effect is rotation continues in your body, but we don't cross our partner's spines. And Karen was saying that in a Viennese waltz, actually, wasn't she? We keep our spines together. You may see a reaction of head movements, and that's part and parcel of the effect, musicality and shape. Should we try it? Yep. Yeah? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll start off by just doing a double reverse spin and straighten. One. Count it. There's no step here, but count it. And one. One, two, three, and one. And let's keep the foot on the floor. Nice ronde. From front to side to under the body. So we're doing, for the boys, front to the side, pressing as you turn, under the body, rotating and checking. Contra check. I expect from my wife, support. <laughs> in, no, seriously, I think because, remember at the beginning of the seminar I explained that the lady is connected under the man's rib cage. That really is continued and, and increased through weight throughout the rotation. The lady, if you notice, Karen, as you notice, is going to cross her foot in front after this. She's going to step, bring the foot in front, on the pivoting action into the contra check. Have you done this step before, girls? Boys? Yes? No? Have you not? Ooh. Stay at the back then. All right. So let's try the double reverse spin, OK? And the bombshell. Should we try it? Girls, are you clear what you're doing? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Do, yeah, all right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are we ready? Watch out for the light, though, man, you know, to find the spotlight. Look at you. Look at that. Pay the spotlight man again. Now, let's just get the shapes softened through your knees. Let's make sure your left side is forward, boys. Right side for the girl. Give her your heart. Are you ready? Oh, hang on a minute. Dusha. Here he is. Where's your tie, Dusha? Mind you, where's your tie? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah, good luck, Dusha. He might think he's dancing with Henry. Are we ready? After three, double reverse spin. We'll go just double reverse spin, not the overspin for a minute. Just a double reverse spin, okay? You're just going to do this. You're doing one, two, three, and one, two, three. Are we ready? After three, one, two, three. 
One, two, and three. One, two, three, one. Let's do it one more time. Aye, aye. We're all going different ways. Doesn't matter. That's the game. We're all different. It's not a formation team. Well, not as we know it, anyway. Now, remember what I said to you earlier on, boys. You're throwing your right leg away. You're not going down line of dance here, even if it's a double reverse spin. Your right leg is going diagonally to wall through the rotation. Okay? Back to a perfect balanced position. Bombshell. Are you ready? Dusha, are you ready? Karen, are you ready? Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, and kill somebody. Two, three, and well done. Ooh. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Careful, do she? All right, I, I tell you, whatever happens, she won't fall over. <laughs> I'll try that. Come here. Whatever happens, make, make me look good. Here we go. One, two, three, one. Two, three, oh, one. Keep going. Two, three. Don't we do? Two, one. That's it. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> what I'm trying to show you here, what I tried to show you there, I'm a man. I think. I know. I'm a man. <laughs> and I should have on my pink shirt, I'm a man, and I can wear pink. That's right, isn't it? But I couldn't create the shape that a woman can create with Dusha. But I could make him do it because I was physically pushing and prodding and turning him. We don't expect that from our partners. We want to be highly tuned and toned and in harmony together. This is difficult for you guys, I know that, and I appreciate you helping me, thank you very much. But it's, it's not easy to maintain shape through stress. Jump. It's not easy. Not easy to maintain shape through stress. But the more you practice, the easier it comes along. So from the contra check, I would like to show you something. You can sit down for a little while, guys, and get you up again in a minute. 